I was born in the 50s, raised in the 50s and 60s in the Midwest. I had a great and wonderful upbringing by two great and wonderful parents. Out of college, I went to work for the military and spent almost 30 years working for the government. It was a great experience, and I'm now retired looking to try new things. I try to take care of mind, body, and spirit, and I'm really proud that at my age, I still feel great. And I'm hoping to continue for many years in the future. I was always a little bit inclined to think outside the box and come to my own conclusions about life and what I wanted and what I did, one of which was I've come to enjoy a clothing-free lifestyle. Back in the day, they called us nudists. Now they call us naturists, but I just call it natural and fun. When I read the article in GQ about Dr. Ellis' procedure, it really started me to thinking because a bigger penis had been in the back of my mind for some years. But I should emphasize that going into the surgery, I did so not because I felt I was small or inadequate in any way. It was just something that I wanted to do for myself. I guess you could call it an act of vanity, and I guess that's okay. I think we're all entitled to do things that make us feel better about ourselves. After the surgery, from a lengthwise standpoint, I think I gained about an inch and a half. So a year later, soft, I'm approximately seven inches long and seven and a half inches in girth. And believe me, that size does draw attention. As I understand it, the weight of the implant will continue to stretch the ligaments such that you can achieve additional length increases over a period of time. However, I have to say, if what I have now is what I end up with, I couldn't be happier. Now today I participate in clothing optional yoga, I go to Burning Man events, I'm a member of a Mutus group, and I participated recently in the World Naked Bike Ride, and I had a lot of fun. And I have to admit, one of the big reasons I had a lot of fun was because a lot of heads turned to look at me. Whether we admit it or not, we all enjoy being in the spotlight, and thanks to Dr. Ellis, the spotlight comes on when my pants come down.